Burundi. Burundi ranks 160 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. Burundi's survival of independent reporting under the threat of the situation in Burundi has been alarming ever since May of 2015's coup attempt. Most independent radio stations are still closed, dozens of journalists are still unable to return from self-imposed exile, and those who stayed find it hard to work freely because they are often harassed by security forces and pro-government militias, which are, are, are encouraged by official, di official discourse associating non-aligned media with, media with enemies of the nation. Moralization sessions, some of hosted by the president himself, have been organized for journalists in order to familiarize them with the official line, but, but pens, microphones, and cameras were banned. In such an environment, the media are for the most part dominated by fear, resignation, and self-censorship. Journalists pay dearly for trying to cover subjects that the government would prefer ignored. Four reporters with the Iwaku Media Group, one of the bastions of independent journalism, were arrested just for doing their job by going to cover an incursion by armed rebels. No serious investigation has ever been conducted into the disappearance of another Iwaku reporter, Jean Ber Bergamana, missing since July 2016. The clampdown on the media keeps on increasing. Two international radio stations are still subject to an indefa ban, indefinite ban, and foreign reporters are finding it harder and harder to get press accreditation. Social media is used as a reporting tool by journalists and at the same time serves as news sources for the public, replacing the gagged radio stations. However, they are often used in an attempt to disinform. Thank you.